Hi, my name is Zai, longtime Quake player and a big fan of the Zowie EC2A. This is the EC1A, basically the big brother of the EC2A. I'll go into the differences between them in a comparison review, which I'll link in the description, but for now, let's treat this as a completely new mouse. First, here is a listen to the buttons. These are generally meant for first person shooters. Zowie mice aren't really used in MOBA games. They're crisp and responsive with a good amount of tactile feedback, although jitter clicking might be difficult. If you can jitter click and have one of these, please let us know in the comments how it performs. The scroll wheel has 16 steps with a lot of tactile feedback, which is great for people who need it in game, but it's not as comfortable while scrolling web pages. Mouse 3 is fairly tight, so there shouldn't be any accidental clicks while scrolling. The side buttons feel soft and have a fair bit of travel. This is a feature that I'd really like them to change. It's smooth plastic all over, no rubberized surface, which means it should be durable. The cable is 2 meters long and a smooth, flexible rubber, no hassle. And in a Zowie Command mouse bungee, it's great. On the base there are two large mouse feet and a replacement set comes with the mouse. For a large mouse, they've done very well keeping the weight under 100 grams, so this should suit a lot of players. Unfortunately for the people who prefer heavier mice, there is no way to adjust the weight. Now let's talk shape and balance, because this is where this mouse really stands out. At first, this is a simple looking design, but Zowie seem to be the kings of subtlety. On the left there is a modest thumb groove running horizontally, but vertically there's an incline, giving enough of a ledge to make it easy to pick up. And just underneath the side buttons, there is another ledge, a more obvious one this time, which prevents accidental clicks on the side buttons. It's this attention to detail that I really appreciate from Zowie. On the right, again, there is a subtle curve, which will help you with your grip, and the slight incline should allow you to pick it up easier too. It should suit a lot of hand sizes positioning-wise. It's a safe shape, plenty of room for your fingers. The grip width is about 6cm and the base length is about 12cm, giving it a good 2 to 1 ratio that I find allows for good aim, but I would recommend this to people who like large mice, not small. It should feel comfortable in palm grip for 18 to 21cm, claw grip from 18 to 21 and fingertip 19.5 to 23cm. The hump is more toward the middle and the slope toward the buttons is gentle which is why I can suit the different grip styles so well. And there are also some slight grooves in the buttons, adding to the comfort. Now let's see the implementation of the 3310 sensor inside, starting with rocket jumping. All good there, now some fast flicks, seeing if I can make it spin out. Definitely not, so this is great for low sensitivity players. In the sniper test, zooming in to FOV1, this is where we test the accuracy of the tracking. Pixel by pixel at first. All good, now speeding up a little. And that's a great performance, as expected. Next is the acceleration and deceleration test. First I'm going to throw the mouse across the pad, then I'm going to move it slowly back. This is hard to get right, but this sensor does seem perfect. I can't find any acceleration or deceleration. While it's not the most responsive sensor I've used, it is still very responsive, quite snappy. Testing liftoff distance, it doesn't track on two DVDs, but it does on one, so it's just over 1.4mm, which is very low. In the line test, we see no jitter, no angle snapping, no skipping, and there's no sensor rattle. And the liftoff movement is well controlled. There is no software, but you can change the DPI with the button on the base, which has four modes and four different colors. 400 is red, 800 is pink and a bit of purple, 1600 is blue, and 3200 is green. You can adjust the polling rate by holding in the buttons as you plug it in. Button 5 for 500Hz, button 4 for 1000Hz, and buttons 4 and 5 for 125Hz. Now the important question, can I aim this mouse? The answer is yes, but I recommend using smaller mice. So for my 18.3cm hand, this is too big. The Zowie EC2A is perfect for me. 
and has been my number one in my top 20 since I got it. This mouse I'd say is great for people with hands over 20 centimeters. The guidelines I gave earlier are for comfort, not necessarily a recommendation for what will help you aim. In conclusion, Zowie must feel like premium products without the extras, and the EC1A fits in perfectly. They're marketed toward competitive gamers who don't care about RGB lights or gimmicks like 16,000 DPI. While I haven't found a problem with using software, it is great to know you can take this mouse out of the box and it will work. No updates required. As I mentioned, the buttons don't seem to suit MOBA players, but first person shooter players like me, the EC series is a top choice. Great weight and balance, amazing shape, still love these mice after months of use, and I'll definitely continue to recommend them. Hope that helps you in your buying decision. I'll leave some Amazon links in the description if you want to purchase one. Subscribe for more mouse reviews and gaming videos, like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.